Hello to you, in this video, I am going to talk about 3 major updates that have a great positive effect on the Cardano ecosystem and the ADA coin price level. For those who don't know me, I am a day trader. I trade in stocks, options, and crypto. But for some assets and cryptos, I am a long-term holder. On this YouTube channel, I started a challenge on the 1st of December 2020. On how to earn a monthly dividend income of $3,000, with a starter's budget of $1,000 and every month I invest $200 extra in this challenge. I hope to achieve this challenge by year's end. If you want to know how I do it, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. The first major update that I want to talk about is the hard fork of Cardano in February. In an update for his YouTube channel, Hoskinson announced tentatively the deployment of Mary for February 2021. The hard fork will be Cardano's second Gogwin related hard fork after the Allegra hard fork combinator. With the Allegra hard fork, the Cardano blockchain got an added multi-token functions. The Mary hard fork will give users the ability to create native assets on the Cardano blockchain. The hard fork will also give the infrastructure for the extended UXO model. Cardano's new capabilities have been designed as an interoperable network for building decentralized finance protocols on Cardano's platform. The CEO of IOC celebrated the progress made by the team building the Plutus platform. Smart contracts that are created on Cardano will be hosted on this platform and will be used by users in conjunction with the hybrid wallet, partial delegation, and other tools, as Hoskinson added. We are working on our go-to-market strategy for the first half of this year for smart contracts, there are a lot of cool things coming out on the way. A lot of business deals, people want to come to Cardano. They are begging us. This is just the beginning. Ave and Celsius already expressed that they are open to run their decentral finance project on Cardano. I can understand that dApps and decentral finance projects that are on the Ethereum ecosystem want to come to Cardano. The other day I wanted to buy Keeper DAO's token Rook. I wanted to invest $20 but I didn't do it. Because the gas price at the time was $20. So that means that Keeper DAO's token Rook price has to increase by 100% for me to be break even. That's insane right? I hope that you are enjoying the video so far. If you do then give this video a thumbs up. The second update that I want to talk about is the updates that are coming on the Daedalus wallet and the Yoroi wallet. Last week, the Daedalus team released Daedalus Flight version 3.2.0 FC1. It features a redesigned delegation center, which shows delegation preference changes in their effect. It is now possible to see which stake pools are currently earning rewards, and which pools will start earning rewards in future epics. Users can review their previous delegation preferences by checking the stake pool details. Pretty amazing right? The Yoroi is also coming with awesome new features like the DApps connector. And it is going to have Yoroi mobile support. This is great because for sure I will have a ton of questions. Once the DApps are coming out. The most amazing feature is the stable integration. I can feel the smart contracts. We are getting closer to the launch of Gogwin smart contracts. The last major update that I want to talk about is the stable coin age USD. During the Ergo Summit 2021 held on Saturday, Emergo announced age USD. The stablecoins follow a novel algorithmic design developed on the Ergo blockchain in a joint partnership between the Ergo Foundation, Emergo, and Charles Hoskinson's Input Output Global, IOG, the parent company of IOC. Roman Pellerin, CTO at Input Output Hong Kong tweeted that AGUSD will be available on the Cardano blockchain once smart contract functionalities are enabled on the mainnet with Plutus. Our first stablecoin on hashtag Ergo, soon on hashtag Cardano with Plutus. Unlike Ethereum-based crypto-backed stablecoins, such as DAI, Emergo introduces a Staticoin protocol-inspired design that does not rely on CDPs, collateralized debt positions. The reason for this is the vulnerability of CDP-based protocols in terms of high volatility and blockchain congestion. As Emergo states, Black Thursday, when MakerDAO CDPs were triggered for liquidation due to volatility and then sold for $0 due to blockchain congestion that prevented others from bidding, demonstrated that a new design is needed. For AGUSD, this scenario is not possible. How does the AGUSD stablecoin for Cardano work? According to the GitHub repository, there are two types of parties interacting with the protocol, reserve providers and AGUSD users. The first pay ERGs, Ergo's native currency, into the DApps reserves, thereby minting reserve coins that represent ERG reserves. Users of the protocol also pay ERGs into the DApp reserves but create AGUSD instead. This is allowed by the protocol only if there are enough reserves above the reserve ratio in the D app. Users can redeem AGUSD for ERGs from the reserve at any time. 
Reserve providers can only do so if the price of ERGs increases or a significant amount of protocol fees is collected, covering the value of all existing minted age USD plus an additional margin. As such reserve providers allow age USD users to enjoy the stability of value. On their end, the reserve providers absorb the potential upside, if the value of the reserves goes up via the price of ERGs increasing compared to USD, but also absorb the potential downside, if the underlying cryptocurrency and the reserve goes down in price. The default age USD protocol fee settings are a 1% protocol fee and a 0.25% front-end implementer fee. These were the updates that I wanted to talk about. Hope you like it. Just before you go, I want to let you know that from now on, I will be also active on Twitter. I will post my transactions there. Like what I buy and what I sell at which price levels. So if you want you can follow me at fpan84. I wish you a good day and see you at the next video.